Hi guys, this is my review of the Ape Man M4 micro projector. Um, that's the kitty there. Well, you can see the advantage straight away with something like this is its size. It's absolutely tiny. Um, this comes with a few little accessories. So you get HDMI cable, uh, USB micro USB charge cable, and a HDMI to micro HDMI adapter. You also get a um, little tripod with it, which is that one there. Um, as far as features, you've got a headphone socket at the back. You've got USB. That's a power out socket, which is just there. HDMI in and the charge port, which is the micro USB one there. You've got on off switch, which is that one there. And the volume switches, which are those ones there. Um, you've also got speakers, which is there and there. But you probably find with these you won't touch and you'll set it to maximum you won't touch them again because it isn't the loudest beast in the world. That's the lens just there and you've also got a focus button or focus wheel just there I should say. Uh, now the thing I will say about the focus wheel is that you've got a long range where um, it doesn't actually do anything and right at the very end it'll start to bite and you can focus that way. It doesn't affect the focusing, but it just feels a bit strange whether you've got all of that range of um, movement where it doesn't actually, doesn't actually do anything. Underneath, you've got the thread for the tripod. Well, as you can see, I've got the tripod attached at the moment. Um, it doesn't come with a keystone adjuster, and I do miss the keystone, really, um, because it does mean you've really got to take your time in setting this up properly, getting it to the correct height and the correct level. Um, to get a, a good image with no edge distortion on it. Once you've got that, then you really don't need to touch it anymore. I found this projector tends to throw the image up, so you need to set the projector a little bit lower than you would do normally, so you wouldn't set it halfway across your screen, for instance, because the image then would be too high. Um, so a little experimentation there certainly wouldn't go amiss. Uh, this is a DLP projector, and I did get a bit confused initially until I did some research. Um, DLP will give you normally a brighter, sharper image. This was also listed as a 100 anti lumen projector, which confused me a little bit as my previous projectors um, were a lot higher than that. Um, I mean, the one I was going to replace this one with um, was a 1200 lumen projector. Having tested it out, I found that the 100 anti lumen compares very well to the 1200 lumen on my other projector, so they're, they're equally as bright. I mean, normally I wouldn't have even considered a 100 lumen projector, but having read the reviews, etc., on Amazon um, and seen the pictures on Amazon as well, uh, it looked like it was going to do the job. And having got it home, yes, it does. It's, it's pretty much as bright as the 1200 lumen projector, so don't let the low lumen rating on the listing put you off. As far as sound goes, uh, it's got two speakers, as I say, one either side, but it isn't particularly loud. For action scenes and for music, it's you can hear it, it's, it's audible, and it's not too bad. But when you come to just dialogue, and particularly quiet dialogue, it's fairly quiet and you'll struggle to hear um, the quieter moments of movies etc. So using the headphone socket at the back, either use headphones which is what I tend to do 95% of the time or get yourself a um, little speaker, a little Bluetooth speaker with a 3.5mm aux port on it, something like that just to boost that, um, uh, that audio a little bit and um, you'll find you'll have no problems in them. As I say, I tend to use the headphone most of the time anyway. OK, I'm going to do a little test now um, during the daytime. It's quite an overcast day, so you'll see what the image is like on this kind of a day. It's not a daytime viewing projector at all, but you'll get an idea at least on how bright it is. But I will put some video after that um, of some nighttime viewing um, in a lit room and in a dimmed room, so you can see all different circumstances for the projector. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, and here we have a sort of a fairly overcast day at the moment, and really just wanted to show you what it's like um, in the daytime.
So as you can see, it's you can see it. It's not what I call watchable. I'm getting lots of light pollution in from the window. And the sound that you hear is coming from the M4 unit itself. And again, for music, it's not too bad. For dialogue, you do struggle a little bit. All right, let's just close the blind a bit. So immediately, you can see the improvement. And I'm gonna tag a video onto the end of this, um, nighttime. So when it's really dark, so you can see what the difference is there. Okay, see you in a moment. Okay, now we've got a comparison between the 8-man M4 and the Eliphas 1500 lumen projectors. To give you an idea on how comparable the two projectors actually are in brightness terms, etc. The 8-man, you'll see, as well as being easily as bright as the 1500 lumen projector, actually has a bit more colour as well, so the colour definition is a lot better. And the contrast is a little better, I would say, as well. So you can see that the 8-man is um, a much more saturated picture. Right, so hopefully that will give you a better insight into what the 8-man M4 is actually like. And just to summarise really, these are expensive little devices, but you are paying for the better technology in them. And in all honesty, for the size of the device, it's quite amazing how bright it actually is. It's not going to be something that you're going to use for business presentations or for um, cinematic family viewing. But um, as a travel projector, um, I think it's a great little device. The picture size on this is also the impressive feature. It's the biggest of any of my projectors um, and it pretty much fills the screen. Uh, it's, it's about 2.4 metres away from the screen and that's a 100 inch screen so it's, it's not a small screen. So that's another reason um, I'm quite impressed by this. But as I say, once, yeah, we could take that off. Once you've got this tripod off, Absolutely tiny, and that'll slip in your pocket. You've got about a one and a half hour battery life in this, um, but I use uh, power banks. Just plug the power bank into it, and that's going to extend the battery life. So it's certainly good for a couple of couple of movies, at least with a power bank on it, with a decent power bank on it anyway. Um, or you can plug it into um, a mains charger if you want to. And anyway, I hope that helps you guys out. And if you do like this video and you're interested in other gadget reviews, then Please click subscribe and thanks very much for watching.